Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba boo. Hey friends, thank you for joining me. I would like to tell you a little story. This story is about how I started saying maintain your groovy selves. <laughs> Rumin and I have had the Romichael channel for over 10 years at this point. We started off mainly wanting to be a comedy channel and uh, that got frustrating and, and annoying and we weren't great at it so we decided to pivot to doing reviews instead. The reviews made sense for us to jump to next because we had been having conversations about mostly music and video games for most of our friendship anyway. But even back when we were a comedy channel, we didn't know how to end our videos. We experimented with a few things when we were getting into the review channel, like giving random compliments to the audience that don't really make a lot of sense, but that didn't end up really working all that well either. Then I remembered the way I used to always end my classes. I ended each class when I was a professor with maintaining groovy selves. But there's a reason I started doing that myself. It goes back to when I was a student in college myself in undergrad. The very first class of my college career was a 9 a.m. music theory course taught by this really wonderful professor named Rosie. Rosie was a pianist and music theorist, and she was married to Ed, who was the head of the department of music. Rosie and Ed never had any children of their own, so they really poured all of their love into the school, and Rosie basically treated each of the students like they were her children in some way. It was a great first class to have. She was a great first professor to have. She made the transition from high school into college way easier. Part of what was fun about both Ed and Rosie is that they were hippies. Everything was rad and groovy and cool to them and you know there are lots of little things that like Rosie would always draw mice when she was grading her homework. Rosie always got everyone their favorite candy bar on their birthday. It's just good good stuff, good times all around. Before I graduated from college we lost both Ed and Rosie. Um, Rosie had been fighting breast cancer but then Ed died suddenly and unexpectedly, and then Rosie died not too long after that. So it was a tough loss for the music school at my undergrad. When I got to teaching myself, I decided that I wanted to carry some of Rosie with me in my teaching. And I told this same story to all of my students the first day of classes, and they all really liked it, and they started saying it to each other too, and then at my very first class that I taught at the end of the semester, my students had a gift made for me. And that was this sign that you see at the end of our videos. When we were looking for an ending for Michael videos, I remembered this sign that was a gift for my students. I remembered Rosie and I figured why not share that positivity and all these good vibes with all of you. So. When I say maintain your groovy selves, know that I mean it. Thanks for joining me for this short little story. And as always, maintain your groovy selves. <laughs>